guys, it's Alyssa here continuing Rio's Montessori inspired toddler room tour. Today we're focusing on bookshelves behind me. I have six floor to ceiling bookshelves that I absolutely love. And to be honest, everyone who comes over loves as well. Um, they are definitely a focal point in Rio's room and in his life. And so I wanted to talk to you about my journey and why they're here and how we got them here. <laughs> so why do I love these bookshelves so much, first of all? Um, it was important to me that reading be a really focal point in Rio's life, that he know how to read <laughs> and be exposed to reading and love reading. And it being a whole wall of his bedroom, you can't deny it. Like when you walk in the room, it's right there. And like, yes, there's toys and there's like fun stuff, but like there are books. You're not denying that there are books. And so if grandma or a friend or whoever is coming in, like you're drawn to read a book together. And I love that. I love that Rio has been exposed since day one to tons of reading. Everyone reads with him because it's not like a cute little section of books in the corner. It's like his room is made for reading. The, I think the specific statistic is reading to your kid for 20 minutes a day will, has the potential to increase their lifetime earnings of more than like $320,000. So even though that's a very known statistic, less than 18% of parents read to their kid for 20 minutes a day or more. Um, so I'm not saying that we get in 20 minutes every single day. Sometimes we get in like four hours of the same book over and over and over. <laughs> but we do read a book with Rio almost every single day. A lot of times we read multiple books and we read them in both languages and we act silly and we ask questions about them and we have done that since day one and we've encouraged the wall itself has encouraged family members and other people that come over to read with him and it's a simple thing to do when you're tired. It's a simple thing to do when he's acting crazy and we need to calm down. Because we're always reading, he loves it. He has favorite books we can go to and we can take that energy level from insane to okay it's almost time to go to bed or mom needs to sit down and take a break because she's really pregnant or whatever it is. I love reading. I remember growing up um, reading aloud as a family, my mom reading Anna Green Abel's and all these books to us and I loved it and I want that for Rio. So I got really inspired by Pottery Barn Kids uh, where they had like one bookshelf just like this, all like I had several different colors, it was like $30 and I knew that I wanted to do like a whole wall of books for Rio um, and to do the one little shelf and the one little color to do a whole wall would be like way over a thousand dollars and we spent maybe 150 counting paint screws everything on all of our bookshelves so definitely recommend making them yourself <laughs> but being like eight months pregnant I couldn't do that so I went to my parents and had my dad help me create the shelf and my mom helped me paint the shelf um, and they're actually really really simple and um, these are from Rio's old room where he had two sections so this one's not on the wall at our new house yet but it's literally just three pieces of wood that we screwed together and then sanded, painted, and then we put a polyurethane coat on them. And then for us, very important, we found studs in the wall and hung all of ours on studs. And I just spaced them. I found like the biggest book that I wanted to fit. And then I divided it by the wall space and that's how far, how fart, how far apart I put them up on the wall. And that was really it. It took like a week to do the whole thing, but that's because we had a lot of other things going on. Like birthing a child but um you could definitely do it in a lot less time but i am very happy with the way they turned out i love them and they're not exactly quote unquote montessori because of several reasons most of montessori is very neutral toned very calm and these are obviously very bright and colorful which i love love the design of rio's room but it doesn't fit into the montessori method and then the other big thing why these shelves would be disqualified from the montessori method i don't only purchase and use real life photos and pictures books that have real life to them So when you open the book, it obviously has a story, but it has and uses pictures of real life people or even the baby baby books have real life photos. And that is a very Montessori thing, which is really good for kids. Um, but I also have a lot of other things that I look for in books like rhyming, rhythm, and cadence 
So this isn't um, Montessori, obviously, because it is cartoons. It's not um, not real life photos. But I think the rhythm and the rhyming and all the things in books are also very important for early literacy. So when I'm buying books, I'm, yes, looking for Montessori books, but I'm also looking for books that have great um, literary technique to them. I'm also looking for books that uh, have Spanish, because that is sometimes hard to come along. And I do a lot of the reading to Rio, and I don't want him to have all the benefits only in English. I want him to have those in Spanish as well. And my mother-in-law and a lot of other people, in some books, I can kind of translate on the fly. Like, oh, she's so sad. She fell. And you just, you know, kind of make the translation up. But for more in-depth, and especially as Rio's getting older, I want books that are actually in Spanish. So I found this company. I signed up for their books for a while. Every, like, month or two, they sent me different books in Spanish, and I liked them. They're good quality books. You could sign up for different things, like moving parts and, like, different stuff. Like, this one has a lot of textures and stuff in it. So, I mean, it's cool. I didn't keep doing it just because we have so many books. I kind of felt like we didn't need to anymore, but I really loved getting Spanish books delivered to my door. Side note, say this in every video, love the Love Every books. And then, of course, when I'm looking for books, um, I am buying books that he's interested in, you know, early on, balls and dinosaurs, and now we've moved into farm animals, and we love all things animals. But I'm also, of course, wanting to make sure we have books that represent a lot of different people, females, males, brown people, all the things that Rio has in his life, I want to be represented in books, and all the things that he doesn't have in his life, like whoever this woman is, don't know. But I'm glad that she's represented in my child and soon-to-be daughter's life. Um, those things are important to me. So, those are things I look for in books. Where do I buy the books? Great question, Alyssa. Uh, books are really expensive. <laughs> Um, a lot of the trendy books, like especially like these books, books that like everybody has for their little babies, I buy a lot of them at Marshalls and you can find them for like a third or half for sure the price that you would on Amazon or at Target or wherever. We buy a lot of our books at uh, Half Price Books where the corners might be a little chewed but they are a dollar so yard sales, things like that, very into that. The Spanish sign-up company and then the Love Every books, we get those, of course. And then also ask for someone to throw you a book shower for a birthday. Only ask for books. This Christmas, I asked for a lot of the National Geographic books for Rio. Like, I get really specific on my wish lists for what I am wishing and wanting for. And then I do buy a lot of books. I shouldn't. They're expensive. But I'd rather be buying books than, I would rather buy a book once a month than a $1 ball every time we go to Target. So that's how I look at it. I made a whole wall of bookshelves in his room to make sure that he loves reading. Maybe that was manipulative of me, but maybe he'll earn $320 more thousand dollars in his life. So whatever. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming along on the tour of Rio's room. First stop, bookshelves. <laughs> If you have more questions, please comment them down below. I appreciate every like, every comment, every subscribe. Be sure you're subscribed if you want to check out the rest of his room coming at ya. Thanks, guys. Bye.